Hey guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a part that will add stats. Obviously, you can change this up to like do something else, but right now, this is just going to be adding leader stats to the player. So, obviously, you want to start off with making your leader stats. I'm not going to explain how the script works for the leader stats in this video. Well, I might explain a little bit on what it's doing at the end, but insert a script serve so I'm gonna hit the plus and insert a script and we'll just name it ls for leader stats so I'm just gonna get when the player joins the game and pass the player function I'm gonna make a new instance attached to a variable and I'm gonna create a folder parenting it to the player then I'm gonna make the folder's name equal leader stats because this is the way you display it inside of the actual player list now we're going to make a new value called cash and this might hint you on what the new series is going to be once again sorry for the delay on this series but um yeah i'm going to make a new instance and i'm going to make it a number value and put it in that stats folder i'm going to set its default value to zero and its name to cash so let's just creates two proper or items inside of the player and let's close it out now we should probably create our actual part that we would like so I'm just going to insert a part here I'm gonna make it a square just like this and then I'm just gonna make this one red this one is going to add 10 cash so the red one adds 10 cash and then the green one is going to add or add 100 cash let's just make this green real quick i'm just going to use this and green so you can do this multiple ways but i'm just gonna make a value inside of these a number value and this is just going to be to add i'm just going to input how much i want it to add now inside of our part let's hit the plus and insert a server script i can rename this to on touch you can do script.parent or let's do local and that's the script.parent.touch connect function hit so when the scripts parent which is the part is touched anything in between these lines are going to get run and then this hit parameter is what touched the actual part so what we want to do is we want to make sure it's a player touching the part because obviously we don't want another part to touch the part and then want to try to add leader stats to it because well it probably won't even have leader stats unless it does then you are doing what you would like so I'm just gonna do local player equals game get service players so we're getting a service in the game which is players and we're gonna do get player from character hit dot parent so hit is most likely the limb of the player that touched the actual object and then let's say it's their leg the parent of the leg is the character of the player and we're gonna get the player from their character so hit the parent should be the character and now we're gonna check if it actually is the player so if player then so if it's actually the player who's touching the part and not some other part or anything else then we're gonna run this code so we're gonna do player dot leader stats dot cash dot value plus equals script dot parent dot to add or to add dot value you can replace this with like if you want you can do this but for this video I'm gonna do script dot parent dot to add value because I like to call these auto adapting scripts it's pretty much where all you have to do is change values inside of a object 
in the script will automatically adapt to apply things according to those values instead of you having to duplicate the part and then change up all of the values in the script manually which can be pretty time consuming and a little bit tedious so it's easier to just get the value that's inside of the part so then I can just duplicate this script put it inside of this button and it should instantly adapt because pretty much nothing is different besides this value so this one should add a hundred or no ten cash and this one should add a hundred cash you can also make parts like kill the player so I'm gonna just do one more and I'm just gonna make this a dark red you can change any value in the player with this um touched remote so let's just name this kill player so we can just do in this line player dot character dot humanoid dot health equals zero as you can see we're changing another value and also make sure you add dot value because this is an instance we don't want the instance we want the value in the instance which is whatever this property is inside of the actual object it's because if we're trying to add an instance um well an instance doesn't exactly have a value so yeah so let's quickly test this game out real quick what we have created as you can see from our leader stats script we had in service script service it added ourselves a little cache value as you can see it created the folder like we wanted we it renamed it to leader stats it inserted the number value set this value to zero and renamed it to cache so if we touch this as you can see well I added it quite quickly but as you can see it's adding cache every time we touch it and as you can see our value is there and if we touch this whoa we died so as you can see we took damage and then as you can see this one adds a hundred and in case you would like to add a delay so the player can't gain it that quickly at the top you, this is called debounce or I'm just gonna do local delay equals false and then this is making a variable called delay and then going in it to false I, I'm not going to do that and we're going to do if delay then or if, let's just do if delay equals equals false because I've encountered some bugs doing if not delay and if delay even though it's pretty much the same thing but not exactly from what I've experienced you can cut that out and put that there then you can do delay equals true wait and then your delay time and then delay equals false and then else else if delay equals equals true then print you ain't gaining today why not so i'm just going to duplicate the script put it on this and just demonstrate it you can only gain once every second as you can see and you can see in console every time we're touching it if we can't gain we won't gain same thing with the hundred one got ourselves a nice little delay so yeah that's how you can add leader stats from touching a part or pretty much just changing a value in the player from touching a part hopefully this video helped you and hopefully you enjoyed and yeah see ya